How's everybody doing today? It's Brother Chad. Here to make a video about a very powerful dream slash vision I got about 11 and a half years ago. The reason I know it was that long ago was because Alex was a little baby up in his crib when I had this dream. Just a tiny little guy and he turned 11 in January so that's how I can date this one so well. But anyway, this was a very powerful dream and vision, which is not normal. And this one was very, uh, very powerful. Shook me, shook me a lot. I've talked about this for about, I don't even know how long on my channel that I needed to share this and I haven't yet. But I've really held back till these very last moments. And I feel like if I don't share this dream now, I, I, I probably won't be able to soon because we all know we're about to see Jesus and we're about to be glorified and the rapture's about to take place and some, I don't know, I can't claim to know how everything works. If some of us will be raptured, some will stay and fight the remnant army. I don't have all the answers, but I am excited to see what the Lord has for us and I'm ready to do whatever he needs me to do. So anyways, in this dream, I, I'm sleeping in bed in my bedroom. All of a sudden I'm in this powerful dream and I have this this golden battle axe. Like That's the only way I can say it. It was a pure, made out of solid gold battle axe, which if you've watched my channel, it's kind of funny being I had the gift where I would find boulders of gold my whole life. But anyways, um, yeah, in the dream I had a powerful battle axe. And just like if you're watching like a, an action movie like Thor or any of those movies where the he's like blasting through people like they're they're minuscule compared to him like you know taking out five ten guys in in five seconds like it's nothing that's what it was like in the dream so the only way I can I can speak about this it was it was strange because if you've watched my two different videos where I had dreams of being glorified and getting our new bodies and the one where I seen the the dead person in my backyard rising out of the ground and receiving his glorified body it's kind of like we will receive the light of Christ like we will become brighter we will kind of like those that have seen Jesus and he has that glow to him like I've seen Jesus and he had a 15 foot glow around his body we will be enhanced we will be brightened we will be given more glory we're given our glorified bodies now on the reversal, these people that I was in battle with or fighting, like there was no question who was who in this battle. Those of us who were in the remnant army, we knew who was not on our side. They had become black. And I don't mean like African American black. I mean like like as if your kid had took a black crayon and colored them head to toe, clothes, face, like skin, everything was just a black color. It's almost like what I'm trying to say is like we are receiving the light, they receive darkness, they become dark. And they were all like black people. And again, I'll say I don't mean like black as as like black skin today, I mean like pure black, the color black, they became black. So we become light and they become black. Anyways, I'm slaughtering through these guys in the dream with my battle axe. And it was blowing me away. I'm like, I knew this was from the Lord. It was so strong. And I'm like, what is going on here? Like, I'm killing people. Like, we're not to kill the people. And it was hard to take in for a while. So anyways, after I took out about five or ten of these guys in literally seconds, all of a sudden in the vision, I'm seeing my son, Alex. And he was about, and this is interesting because he's only 11 right now. But I was seeing him as a man with a with a short like maybe week old beard and he was about six foot one so it's funny I've been telling my son for years I'm like I know how tall you're gonna be you're gonna be six foot one and don't let this discourage you I'm not saying there's another 10 years left I'll get to that later but anyways in the dream he was full size he was like a, a young man battling and my son has he will be given a spear he has a three prong spear he is given it's got a longer center prong and two shorter prongs on an angle on the side. And the same thing. He was going through these these wicked, 
dark people like they were nothing. Like the power we will be giving after we are glorified, it was just incredible. He was slaughtering them with his spear. And I remember the last guy I seen, he literally put his three pronged spear into the thigh of the person. And his strength was so strong, like compared to what we are now is nothing. The strength we will have, he literally twisted his wrist with his spear in the thigh of the person and he literally turned him upside down and then slammed him down on his head. Like that's the strength we will have. It was amazing to see. It almost, it just seems like a crazy dream, but I knew it was from the Lord. I knew it was the battle and the remnant army. We were, we were that glorified. So anyways, that's where it left off there. I seen myself battling with my golden battle ax. I seen Alex, he was in bed upstairs as a little like two, three month old baby. And I got to see him as an adult man battling with this spear. Now you would think this is amazing. Any dreams from the Lord are amazing. And I'm going to have to explain this because I woke up angry. For those of you who have been following my channel, you know, uh, I don't even know. It's been over 13 years of repression. My life was so rough. Um, I haven't fully got into it. I'm sure some of you wonder how bad it could have been to have that many years of repression. It, it was bad. We'll just say that. But anyways, I was in a point in my life where I was, I was going some really bad PTSD and really bad repressed memories of, uh, it's hard to talk about getting, we'll just say getting roofied at parties. That's how bad it got in my, my teens and my twenties. And it happened many times because they wanted to steal my joy and make my gifts not work anymore. But anyways, I woke up and I was angry because I was in such a bad place then, which I mean, it's not great now, but it was just so hard then. I was, I was so just wanting Jesus to return and get me out of here, which we all are like that now, but it was just really bad for me then. That's what I'll say. And I was angry. I woke up and I went to the kitchen and Tara was at the sink doing dishes and I was yelling. I gotta be honest. I was angry. She's like, what is going on? I'm like, I just had a dream from the Lord. I said, I can't wait 20 years, and I'm all upset. I'm thinking, I seen Alex as an adult. I'm like, we're going to be waiting 20 years to get out of here. And I was angry. I was really upset about the dream I had. And it was crazy, because as I'm explaining to Tara, while she's doing the dishes at the sink, and we were only together like a year at this point. She's probably, I don't think she was fully getting what I was saying. She was still... I hadn't woken her up to the point she is now. She hadn't been aware of the gifting as she is now and even the gift she has herself now, which I don't know if I've talked about. She has a beautiful gift where she sees uh, things in the spirit. If I call healing on somebody, she can see a glow in their body if they're receiving healing somewhere, which is beautiful. But anyways, I'm telling her about the dream. I'm upset. I'm like, I can't wait. I'm never going to make it that long. I'm. I feel like I'm in my last years of survival right now. I need Jesus to come. I was upset. And while I'm talking to her, standing in the, close to the kitchen, my vision was like literally taken over. Like I've had open visions, but this was so strong. What I was seeing like terror in the house I was, my house I was in was literally taken over. And all of a sudden in my vision, I'm seeing a, a, a girl, like a, a younger girl, like maybe 10. And she Oh, it's so hard to explain. I'm standing there and to explain it, I'm looking to my right and she's only about 10 feet to my right, but her feet were in the air at about my head level, 10 feet to my right. And, and the Lord showed me, the Holy Spirit showed me this was my daughter. Understand we didn't have, we weren't pregnant. We had, Alex was only two months old. There was no no thought or understanding of Hannah yet. And I'm sitting there going, I'm seeing our daughter. I'm like, I'm like in a full hard vision telling Tara, we are going to have a little girl. We're going to have a girl. And she's like, y you can't know that. What are you talking about? I'm like, I'm seeing our little girl. The Lord's telling me this is our daughter. And in the dream, she had like this beautiful, I don't know how to explain it. It was almost like a fitted, beautiful armor outfit. I wouldn't say like Catwoman like, but it was very fitted for a little girl and she had her hair up in a bun and in the dream there was these dark same dark people coming at her in the dream and I'm seeing this in this open vision while I'm awake talking to Tara and all of a sudden she pulls out this whip 
and it was amazing. This whip my daughter Hannah will have, it, all I can do to explain it, it was like it was 20, 20 to 30 feet long, but it, it seemed like it was made out of beautiful glowing diamonds attached to each other beautiful like diamonds attached to each other and I could say if you've seen the movie Wonder Woman that's the closest thing I could say to to what I was seeing except for not near as beautiful and I could talk about the other things I've wanted to for a long time and I've stayed quiet about but they've stole many of the things out of me because of chips I have in me I'll just say that but anyways I see my daughter and she's using her whip and she's getting rid of these wicked people and the last person I seen she whips on an angle like from their right shoulder down to their waist and her whip literally cut right through this person and the top half of them fell off in my dream and I'm this is a you can understand why I waited so long to tell this this is very powerful um, nobody wants to put a bigger target on their back I can tell you right now the wicked don't want the 144,000 in the trip because they're going to have to deal with us and they're not going to like it. I'll just say that. But the top half of this person fell right off. And remember what I'm saying. My little girl Hannah is her feet are at my head height, 10 feet to my right. She's literally floating in the air while she's fighting with this beautiful long whip glowing like bright white, like it's straight out of heaven. Like if you've been in heaven, the beautiful beautiful brightness and whiteness of heaven just glowing in her whip like it's made out of diamonds I don't even know what it was made out it was just amazing and then all of a sudden I'm seeing Tara and Tara is nobody I would ever ever picture in a fight ever and she's got like almost the same thing but hers was the same thing it was glowing like a whip of, of diamonds like bright glowing but she had it into she was using it as like a lasso and all of a sudden Tara like shoots it out and pops it over this person like 10 feet away and tightens her, her diamond whip like a lasso around them and literally pulls them right up to her face, stares them in the face and then she had this beautiful dagger she put in, in the person's chest or, or gut. I cannot fully remember. But it was amazing. It was powerful. I couldn't believe how strong the dream was. I woke up. Well, this was the vision. I was already telling Tara as I'm seeing it which is amazing, like I've never had anything like that where it starts in a dream while I'm sleeping. I wake up and then the Lord continued on with it while I was awake. So I've been wanting to share this. I know there's others out there that have, uh, Ashley the Dreamer, I know change is coming soon. She's mentioned being shown stuff. There's many others who have been shown that we will receive armor, we will see certain weapons, some of us, gifts increased vision which I told you I had as a child before it was taken from me and I never fully talked about the fact that I could uh, I could literally feel like my eyes move inside when I was trying to focus on something and I could zoom up on something I could read regular size print from about I don't even know 15 feet away which you just can't do with 2020 like I mean like typed out tiny print but anyways I don't want to get fully into that because I, I struggle with some of the things I'm shown and how hard it'll already be for some of you to believe, so I hold back. But anyways, amazing. We will be glorified. We will be brighter. We will be enhanced in ways that are not even understandable. The strength we will have, the, the power and the glory and the gifts that the Lord will give us and the weapons and our armor. Um... Now, the amazing thing, I'm going to go in further. I'm sorry, it's going to be a longer one, but i got to put this one out. What makes this even more amazing, i seen this 10 years ago. I did not remember this dream until about a year ago or six months ago. Now, I talked several times in videos about a prayer group we were in, which fell apart for reasons I don't even want to get into right now. We'll just say the leader wasn't who everybody thought she was, but... There were many people full of the, filled with the Holy Spirit on that group. And many of us were being shown our, our armor, our weapons, our things we will be battling with. And there was a lot of talk about it. We were all excited. Other people were seeing my acts before I had, like, like I said, I hadn't remembered this dream yet. So people were talking about seeing my armor 
and my axe and stuff before I had remembered seeing this dream like 11 years ago. So it makes it that much more powerful that others are seeing that. And anyways, so our kids are excited. And I remember the one night I told Alex, I'm like, why don't you uh, ask God to give you a dream? See if he'll show you if you will have a weapon in the end or if you will be part of the remnant army. And he runs up, he's about to go to bed. He goes upstairs to his room and all of a sudden I hear him running down the steps. He's like, dad, dad, I didn't even, I didn't even lay down yet. And God just showed me, I will have a spear and I got to see the spear and everything. And he said, I'm going to have a shield. And he said, the shield's going to be colored in rainbow colors and it's going to have a J for Jesus on it. And I'm sitting here like blown away with my mouth open. I never seen the shield in my dream, but it was just so beautiful that my son seen this like. We all know what the, the rainbow was given to us from God as a, as a sign of his love for us. And it just to be with the J on it for Jesus, like my son will have a shield covered in the love of Jesus and protected by the love of Jesus. That is 100% what that is when he was shown that. What, like so amazing. And there was another man, James, in the group. He was shown he will have a rainbow colored helmet on. Same thing being covered in the love of Jesus and protected by the love of Jesus. It's so awesome. So those are just two little things. But the amazing thing is, like I said before, I had not remembered my dream from 11 years ago. So my son seen his spear and he actually did drew me a picture a year or two ago of it. Showed me exactly what it looked. He was showing a vivid picture of what his spear looked like and he drew it up. And it wasn't until months later that don't back up until you check out behind you. And then drew the picture, but I hadn't remembered the dream, so he's seen it and confirmed what I had seen in the dream, which is amazing how God does that. Like He shows you how real it is when you are both given different dreams, not remembering the other one, and he's seeing the same thing. So very beautiful. And one more thing I'm going to say about my golden axe, which this is going to be really hard to believe. I talk about how strong the anointing was when I was a child. And there's many, many things I haven't shared, many testimonies I haven't shared. I actually feel guilty about and I struggle with not sharing, but they're so hard to believe because they were so powerful. And this is one of them. I was going to save this for another video, but I haven't been making any. I'm just going to spit it out now. When I was about 12 years old, I was in a very high place then. I was in a place of repression because I was being threatened by the dark side and I'll just say I was getting raped and things like that. So they were MK altering me. They were, they were messing up my brain where I would have to just forget things. So people would keep coming to me, receiving miracles. People would get healing. Uh, I've even had memories of people bringing their sick dog to me, getting healing, which is really cool testimony. But I would forget things. I would go back into repression all the time because my, my childhood was that rough. It's kind of like where the Bible talks about the Lord can choose who he chooses to use. He can choose the the most beat up child in the world, the weakest child in the world whose parents chose to try to get rid of him for his whole life. He can keep that child alive and use him. Anyways, I had a very vivid dream when I was about 12 years old and I seen this solid, beautiful golden, golden ax and I knew in the dream it was made out of solid gold and I didn't know what was going on. I've had a very high anointing, but I didn't fully understand. I didn't know my Bible. I hadn't even fully read my Bible, even though I was so anointed back then. But my dad always knew because I would tell him my dreams. And I said, I seen this, this solid gold, golden axe. And I said, this is crazy. Like I'm to fight with it. And I said, you would never be to lift something like that. And my dad looked at me and smiled and he said, you will at the end, you'll be to lift it. And I'm like, I didn't know what he was talking about. But it just shows uh, the Masons and I don't know if it was a demon in my father. They, he just knew stuff then. He knew stuff I can't explain. And I don't even know how my dad knew so much then. If it was like a fallen angel in him, a strong demon, or just the Mason knowledge. I really can't tell you what it was completely or a combination. But anyways, my dad said, you will, be to, you will use that at the end. And he smiled. Now this is where it gets very, very hard to believe. I'm a 12 year old boy. I'm outside in the backyard. My dad was about 20, probably 20 feet away from me, maybe 30. 
and I'm sitting there and I'm like just being with the Lord, being with Jesus as I always do. I walked around with Jesus in the yard as a kid. It was, it was awesome. And I'm picturing this golden axe I was showing in my dream. I'm pretending it's in my hand. And I'm like, ah, and I lift it over my head, visualizing this. And I pretend like I'm just slamming it into the ground as hard as I can. Just as a kid thinking I'm visualizing something. I could not believe it. The ground shook underneath my feet and I seen my dad 30 feet away back on his heels trying not to fall over. And I'm not making this up. I would never lie to you. I can promise you. I know how hard this is to believe. Um, there's things in the Bible that we know we believe that are hard like seas parting and much bigger things than what I'm telling you. But this is the truth. I, all I was doing was a 12 year old visualizing hitting the ground with this golden axe that the Lord had shown me and literally the ground shook hard for about two seconds and I've wanted to share this for so long but I know it's so hard to believe out of most people's realms of understanding or or just belief and I'm not putting anybody down it's kind of like believing without seeing right like the uh, who is it who what was the disciple who struggled with believing without seeing? Oh my God, why can't I think of that right now? Forgive me, I can't even think of who that was, but yeah, amazing. The ground shook as I pretended to hit the, the ground with my ax. So anyways, I wanna end it there. This is just different stuff. And I could go into other people that I met in the prayer group and some of the weapons they have. I'm going to leave it here for now because I'm sure this video is already long. And I hope somebody <laughs> gets to watch this because I haven't made any in a long time. I'm hoping to spit a bunch of truths out that I've really waited to the last minutes for. Um, partly for the sake of my wife not, not wanting to share them because... I, I've shared before, we've, we've been attacked in this family and... We'll just say our children have already been hurt as a way to try to quiet me for things that have happened in the past. I won't speak too much on how amazing the Canadian government can be. But I'm going to leave this at there. And I'm going to make another video and start putting some really beautiful things out from my past. And I'm going to share some of the stronger healings that happened and miracles that happened in my, in my youth. I might even go into a video and show you all the different stuff they put in my body and explain some crazy stuff to you guys. I don't know if it's helpful or not. That's why I haven't done it. But anyways, you guys, be excited. We are so close. We're in the last seconds. We've been saying it for, I've been saying it since this channel started and none of us are wrong. The season, I, I heard somebody talking about, we haven't been in the season. People have been wrong. They've been warning for a hundred years and we're, we're just getting into the season but no we, we've been in the season for a hundred years the timing of the Lord is different just because some of us have been saying we're out of here for four or five years doesn't make them wrong the season of the Lord is different we are in the season we're at the end of the season now we don't know the day or hour we all know this we we can't pretend somehow in scripture that we well know it if you want to guess, go ahead if that makes you feel good, but or if you think that encourages others. But we cannot change a scripture that tells us not even Jesus will know into somehow some of us are know. It just it's just not right. Just don't do it because if he's not even going to tell Jesus, he's not going to tell any of us. Anyways, live like every day like he could be here because that's how close we are and we should live that way anyway. And I got to stop blabbering now. So I love you guys so much. Thank you, everybody. I've been watching a lot of videos and dreams. Thank you, everybody else out there for sharing. It's encouraging to watch and hear others that love Jesus instead of watching some Satanists from Hollywood make their fake movies. And now, now that we know, pretend to be Remnant Army, which we will be in the end. <laughs> so anyways, you know. Keep looking up, everybody. Be excited. All of us are going through horrible things. Stay strong. No weapon formed against us will prosper. 
and I will see you guys in the air hopefully soon or glorified in battle or whatever whatever it's going to be. I'm excited for. So love you guys. Take care.